It's been a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm on the toilet, but I have a lot to update. I really... Sorry that that, um, that that nap that I ended the last video with took like 10 months, but a bitch was sleepy. <laughs> but being for real though, a lot has like, a lot has happened and I'm just gonna from here update you guys, so. Hey y'all, excuse my whole look right now. Uh, I have laundry to do, but I guess it's time for the update. It's definitely like early, I think early this year that I started like recording. I had a lot that I wanted to do, but um, that kind of got lampshaded like very, very fast because I had a whole video that I wanted to like finish because I have finally got those uh, those Twix bites from Papa John's that I said I was going to review on the channel but the incident happened with me and my family my brother tried to kill my whole family He said slay for real, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I got so much, so much fucking laundry to do. Oh my God. I was going to the gym pretty regularly and also just trying to find a new feel. Bitch, what the fuck is my hair? For like, I guess my new content because I was going to do a lot. Actually, I was going to do like commentary. I was probably going to try to keep up with new games. They're already posted, but I started playing Persona 3 Reloaded. But it was around the time that I finally started recording again and I had uploaded those two like heavily edited videos. Never done in that style before, but they actually did pretty well and I was really happy with them. In the midst of me recording my next one, um, tension got really high with my family and my brother. I was still working at Walmart at the time and my family had gotten to this big kerfuffle. It was mostly about my brother, I think only with my brother to be honest. You guys didn't see this because I didn't show you. Every day was really suffocating and really like nerve wracking because my brother had this increasing like anger building up within him and he would come home very high or very drunk or very just upset and start punching holes in walls or like destroying my property, breaking into my room, taking my stuff, cussing me and my mom out. And it reached, it like boiled to a head like very fast um, around the time that I was recording and also in the midst of recording my third vlog type video. It was after the second video I made where I said I was going to take a nap that turned into 10 months. And I said that I was going to probably review the, the Twix bites from Papa John's and I was probably going to do some other stuff that came to mind. Maybe like explore Montgomery a little bit, but my cousin had moved in not too long after that, about like 30 something right now. I'm 24. My brother just turned 20 like this year. My cousin has kids, so he's much more authoritative when it comes to like younger people. Basically what I'm saying is he wasn't finna put up with any of my brother's shit. But my brother didn't like that because he's someone who feels like he has to be top of everyone all the time. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> because my brother felt like he was challenged, his grand idea to combat the new problem facing him uh, was to buy a gun. A gun! It wasn't even like a registered firearm. He like bought it off of one of his friends. That was uh, pretty much why I stopped recording around that time. 
because all of my focus honestly had to go towards surviving and not getting shot in my face. The fact that my brother bought that gun and started like basically holstering it around like some western fucking movie. Anytime any argument was about to be had or there was any tension in the room, I would just have to either lock myself in my room or just leave and go somewhere else. It stayed like that for like maybe the rest of February until I was able to move. In the midst of having to do all that, um, that kind of divided up my family a little bit. My family kind of went back and forth from sympathizing with me about my position and, you know, the danger that I was in to kind of like also lumping me in with my brother and like blaming me for his behavior or blaming me for why he turned out like that. My family always saw the older child as like the role model for the younger ones, which is like, you know, kind of like a normal thing, but it went from more of like a role model role to like, you need to become a second parent kind of role. So, um, <laughs> It's like the tic tac toe. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Okay, got her started. I like this backdrop. That plant is that plant is dead. Don't don't look at her. But um, <laughs> because of that like role that set up that my family had with pretty much throughout a couple of generations. Um, that same expectation was on me since I was like nine and my brother kind of started going down that path or whatever for a while and I tried my best to like, you know, be there for him, support him, you know, whatever, whatnot, all the good stuff, right? But when you start hanging out with a certain crowd, it just kind of like, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. My brother just increasingly got violent. I couldn't really risk my life still being there. So I had to literally just drop whatever I pretty much was doing, like my recording, my, my channel, my next channel upload and my gaming stuff. Um, sadly, I already completed Persona 3 Reload, so I can't give you like a genuine authentic reaction to everything that they did. Thank my brother for that. He also broke a lot of my belongings. He would just bust down doors, he would just break into my room, steal my stuff, slash my tires, uh, assault me anytime that he felt like he wanted or needed to. Sorry, I, I probably should have closed that door before I started recording. Anyway, my family would either sympathize with me or like blame me for how he turned out. It would just kind of put a real big toll on me because not only did I have to sit here and basically fight for my fucking life to get the hell out of here, I also had my family just going like, shame on you and fuck you and like, this is your fault and you know, finally just had to put my foot down I had to use whatever I had saved up, which wasn't that much to go ahead and start moving my stuff. Um, I had to just cram whatever I could in like trash bags. I had to like basically uproot myself in order to be able to be alive, to be here on this recording, talking to you guys. I really wanted to record so bad for so long. It's been literally 10 months. I was way too focused on trying to get a new job, trying to get reacclimated, and you know, I have to jumpstart my life and like put a pause on my actual plans, get to a better place and both physically and mentally because it it basically just got worse and worse by each passing day. It was honestly really, really terrifying if I'm going to be completely clear with you. Within like maybe two to three or maybe four months span, I had to go through a couple of jobs and 
a couple of interviews and all this other shit. Um, and to be honest, it took me a while to just find somewhere where I was like comfortable working. It was honestly really hard to do so because a lot of people weren't hiring, clutching this lifeline like, like it's the last piece of fucking food on earth. Uh, you see, I'm not doing great. <laughs> I need to eat food. So I guess it wasn't really my intention to wait so long to upload again, but I was kind of forced into a position where I, I couldn't really, I couldn't really help it. Even if there was opportunities for me to record, I couldn't really, in good faith or in good conscience conscience turn on my camera and start talking if I wasn't even mentally there to really like update you guys because I was still going through it like even when I moved my me and my family were still at odds um, because of how messy the whole situation was things said there was things done honestly the lack of things that were done that uh, really just put me in a mental state to where I felt like I couldn't really I couldn't really do anything in my mind if I couldn't uh, have the respect or the the empathy given from my family to understand where I was coming from the predicament that I was in with my brother specifically I had to dash my plan like kick it to the side of me finally going back to school like saving up enough to pay off some some student debt it threw me back into a place that i thought that i had gotten better from that first video that i made saying like i'm back from my little hiatus i was cleaning my little depression room that's because i had finally gotten the resolve to get up and start doing something about my situation my predicament because i had been working at arby's for almost like three years i had just gotten out of a relationship a very messy relationship in which i was cheated on i tried to have a little rebound with someone that i should have known was not was not good for me but you know a nigga was down bad i basically just kind of felt like I had been given up on. All these jobs weren't getting back to me. My family wouldn't help me get out of a situation that was getting increasingly deadly and dangerous. Anyone that I had loved in the past had just given up on me because of the same situation. And it just kind of felt very disheartening to be going through all of that, basically almost alone. I finally, you know, tried to pick myself up, and that's when I decided to make that first video. The way I wanted to start that was by, you know, cleaning up the mess that I had made because of my lack of action, my lack of motivation and drive. All of a sudden, like, life just was like, no, all over again. I'm saying all of that out loud again, it's just so fucking depressing. <laughs> Well, when I first moved here, I did have a good support. I did have good support here. Um, I did meet someone that helped me along the process of finding a new job, at least trying to find a place to stay. Um, even though the place that I was staying at wasn't really working out, I'm grateful to at least have had somewhere to stay for a good long while but now i have somewhere else that's much more inviting and and freeing and it, it feels like i'm more free now i'm in i'm in a space where i can you know think rationally i'm not letting my depressive thoughts get to me as much anymore. I'm working a steady job that pays well and I'm able to save more money and I'm actually gonna start working back towards getting into school like I was 
back in January, February. Hmm. You know, I thought the update portion of this video was going to be a lot longer. Also, I did get a nose piercing. I was so stupid and didn't fucking record it like a dumbass. Didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. When the lady put the clamp in my nose, that shit sucked. That shit was like, that shit was awful. But then she like stuck the needle through and I was like, oh. And then she took the clamp off and I'm like, oh. And it was only $30, girl. So I'm happy with it. The only thing that sucks is uh, having to wait for this bitch to heal. Also, I did get my nails done, I think a couple of weeks ago. I'll have to get them redone now because they have either like grown, my nails have grown or they chipped because, um, because of work. Or I think, uh, Hello? 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 Did y'all hear that? What the fuck was that? This bitch over here bubbling and shit. What the fuck? Kinda like the sink had diarrhea, like bubble guts. Like, okay. Um, I just ate. I got most of the laundry done. I just need to fold all of that stuff. There's still some stuff washing. I'm washing whites and whatever, whatnot. And um, this video ended up being a lot longer than I anticipated because I was gonna have it be longer, but I'm like, the first video back in 10 months, I don't think I'm gonna burn myself out like that. But <clears throat> next video, I will um, show you show you guys what I had in store for my third upload before I had to um, run for the hills basically um, and I hope you guys stay tuned I hope you guys like it and also I am back um, just want to make that official for the record I'm gonna start uploading like regularly uh, whenever I can at the very least um, and hope you guys have a good one my head hurts because it took me so long just to eat because i'm i'm smart anyways love y'all and